I almost forgot, a viewer sent me these, and I think it's about time I start using them. Nice little clamps. You got three sizes, two small, two medium, or two medium, two large. Now, unfortunately, I noticed that this saw cuts at an angle, and I suspected this, but I finally realized that the teeth are actually bent. The left teeth are over further than the right teeth, and so I guess that's Harbor Freight for you. I might see about getting a, a better saw or possibly fixing this one. This 2x4 is a bit thicker than the modern ones I use, like, I don't know, like a couple millimeters. But that's just enough to make it really difficult to slide through there. And I realized, it'd be okay for the thinner piece. It doesn't have to be a 2 inch piece or a 2x2 two by, two by or whatever. So I'm going to use some of these thinner sections, which I didn't have a use for before.
that's all pretty much done on that side. I'll go back over with some tape and some spray foam or whatever to help seal it up a little bit more because there's still a little bit, but there's a lot more things to work on for now. So first of all, we have the, uh, the corners of the workshop still have like three inch slits in them that wind just comes right in. So we're going to fix that, but that'll be another video. But in this video, we should focus on this side of the workshop. Now that line up there, it's like um, about half, about half the thickness of the other side, and it's not on the side where the wind blows in. But whenever I stick my head up there in that crack, I still feel some wind blowing in. So we're going to definitely have to fix that. So with this side closed up, I've noticed that the temperature has increased by a few degrees already because the heat from the stove was kept in longer, which is pretty good. So I went back and forth between different designs for this side. Like I started with the vertical pieces on the inside, then I tried some pieces and with some on the outside. And honestly, we're having to go inside and outside was just too much of a pain in the butt. So I'm gonna go with screws from now on because you can screw through and then pull the thing in. And so you can do all the work from the inside. And I hope I can do all the work on that side from the inside. Because the wind is brutal today. So it's done and with noticeable effect. There's no more gusts of cold air coming through here. At this point, it would be more like the heat is getting out instead of wind is getting in because I don't feel very much wind, although there's a little, a little bit coming in, but it's very, very, very faint or very weak. And so, ooh, you can hear the, the wind is wreaking havoc on this building. Now I'm gonna have to spin a little bit and think which direction I wanna go with it now. There's a few things that I can do which do not rely on any other things to be done beforehand. For instance, I could, well, if the weather warms up and it gets dry at the same time, I can put some tape on the holes on the roof I have the stuff to build a big workbench, 16 foot long, 3 or 4 foot wide workbench with shelves above it, so I might do that too. But probably a good thing to do would be to finally figure out how to put trim over the corners of the building because they're letting in a lot of wind and letting out a lot of heat. Well, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you very much for watching. See ya!